from one yatra to another. The BJP now is to start the Gujarat Gaurav Yatra from today in the state of Gujarat. There will be a total of five yatras which will be st uh, started from different temples in Polban Gujarat and they will end at different temples as well. The first two yatras will be flagged off uh, by BJP President J.P. Nadda while three other yatras will be flagged off by Union Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah. All yatras will complete the distance in the next 7 to 10 days. All central ministers, top BJP leaders will be part of the yatra in different legs of these five yatras. The main focus will be tribal areas of Gujarat where the BJP suffered heavy losses during the last assembly elections. The basic idea behind this yatra will be to showcase development works done by the Gujarat government and also to activate BJP's ground workers. This will be in fact the third Gaurav Yatra in Gujarat. The first Gaurav Yatra happened after the Gujarat riots in 2002. The second Gaurav Yatra happened in 2017 after the Partidar Andolan of 2015. This is the यह गुजरात गौरव यात्रा स्पर्श करेगी वहां के लोगों को जागृत करने का और विकास कार्य जो आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व और मार्गदर्शन में हुए हैं वह लोगों तक पहुंचाने का कार्य इस गौरव यात्रा के माध्यम से होगा my colleague Saurabh Bhaktania is now joining me live from Gujarat on this. He is covering the Yatra, the Gujarat Gaurav Yatra. Saurabh, good morning to you. Now, the fact that this is only the third such Gujarat Gaurav Yatra in as many years, does this suggest that the BJP does realize that even while they definitely have one up their sleeve as they go into these assembly elections, it is facing some amount of stiff contest on the ground because it's not just BJP versus Congress anymore. There are other players like the Aam Admi Party who are in the fray as well. Absolutely, follow me, and let me tell you that this yatra is itself very much important. First, we cut across the visuals which are coming on stage here. You can see that that BJP President J P Nadda, along with Gujarat CM Bhupendra Patel and C R Patel, and all other leaders are present over here. The central ministers are present, and most importantly, this Gujarat Gauri Yatra is very important because uh, the BJP. What I spoke to the BJP sources, they clearly said that not just they are going to take ahead the development work which the Gujarat government has done, but it also the time that the make their ground workers completely activated. So to activate the BJP ground workers, this particular yatra stands very important. You remember Pallavi, few days back when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Gujarat, he also clearly said that it's high time that all the BJP leaders uh, uh, in Gujarat and workers be very much alert. They should not be in illusion that uh, the Congress and other parties are not active because they are going door to door, they are going to village to village and uh, they are doing their campaign in the right way. They have new strategy. So it's now time that the BJP workers also get active very uh, in, in this whole campaigning and therefore now this particular Yatra which is, uh, which is going to start in just some time from now. Here it is visual clearly see that. And follow me, most importantly this is the third Third Gaurav Yatra first happened in 2002, second in 2017, and now in 2022. Five Yatras, most importantly, the five Yatras, one is for the Adivasi belt and second is for the Partidar belt. And let me tell you that in 2017, it was the tribal and the Partidar votes uh, which BJP suffered heavy losses and therefore this, uh, this Yatra is going to pass through these tribal areas and the Partidar belt areas to woo the right. voters. So therefore, this Gaurav Yatra stands very important and several of the central ministers and BJP leaders are Absolutely. going to Absolutely. The top leadership of the Bharatiya Janata Party will be in Gujarat over the next 7 to 10 days as these five legs of uh, the Gujarat Gaurav Yatra in fact take off and reach their final destination. Saurabh, thank you so much for joining us with those uh, details.